Hey everyone, welcome back. This week, it's been so long since I've done a what I eat in a day, so I wanted to do another one of those and share some meals that I've been loving. I wanted to do like a what I eat in a couple days or what I eat in a week. So last night, I was feeling super organized. I wrote out my whole grocery list, which I typically do anyway, that's not really that different. And then I wrote Monday through Wednesday, my meals. I don't know if you can see. But I wrote out each meal, so we'll see if I can stick to it. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's right now, and I kind of feel like they just always have new things and such great things. This might change a little bit based on the goodies that I find there, but I'm really excited to make some vegan taquitos, some vegan stuffed peppers, and vegan ramen stir fry. We'll see if that changes. So I am about to head to Trader Joe's, and I will be back to share with you all what I got and the changes that have been made to this week's menu. I really stuck to the list this time. So I think tonight I'm gonna make the vegan taquitos. things I would do differently next time. I think I needed to oil the tortillas so they don't burn like that. I'm not really sure. They still look decent enough. First bite, I really like the filling. I think the filling's great. I would just make the taquitos smaller and try and figure out how to not burn them. Excuse me, but pretty good dinner and fairly easy. And now that I have eaten all of it, I'm stuffed and ready for bed. It was so good. I love testing out meals when Dean's gone because then I get to make them for him when he gets home. So definitely something I'd make again. Pretty good recipe and I'm gonna link all of the recipes below as well. I found all of them on Pinterest. and I are on our way to a meeting and I just grabbed the first snacks I found in the pantry so sliced mangoes and some almond butter this wouldn't be my normal snack but it's easy to eat in the car and I was running behind for lunch I'm having leftovers because I ate so much of the filling last night that I was so full and could only eat like one and a half of these this wasn't intended for my lunch but it worked out pretty well my thrive market order is here and by now I'm sure you know how much I love Thrive Market. And if you're not familiar with Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based market that is on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Thrive Market members get to enjoy member-only prices and members typically save an average of about $32 per order. Oh, I'm so excited about this Malibu milk, more macadamia milk. Plus, Thrive Market is 100% committed to never engaging in surge pricing. I forgot I got this. Some nitro cold brew. You can find everything you need, organic and essential groceries, non-toxic home. I get most of my home products from Thrive Market. Oh my gosh, more coffee. Wow, I really went all out this week. I don't know what I was doing this week. Three coffees and some ramen. And with Thrive Market, you can easily shop over a hundred different diets, vegan, keto, gluten-free. My favorite thing is to go in the app and put all my groceries and they're delivered right to my door and orders are delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. And I said it so many times, I just have to say it again, my favorite thing about Thrive Market is their Thrive Gifts program, their one-for-one -one membership matching program. So for every paid membership, Thrive Market sponsors a free one to a low-income family. So click the link down below, get your Thrive Market membership started, choose the 12-month or one-month membership. I went with the 12-month. Obviously, I love Thrive Market. I use it all the time. It breaks down to about $5 a month, but I'm saving so much more than that so it's worth it to me. And when you join Thrive Market today, you will get 25% off of your order and a free gift. Today, I had a bunch of errands to run. Pappy accompanied me on the errands and to a meeting. And now I am trying to decide 
if I should make dinner or if I should Postmates. Nothing was sounding good for dinner and I just remembered I got this spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. So I'm gonna be making that for dinner and adding an avocado. Easy 10 minute dinner and it's pretty healthy. Loves his farmer's dog so much. Super easy dinner. I think that took me like seven minutes in total. And again, because Dean isn't here, I have some leftovers, perfect size of leftovers for lunch. This is so spicy. If you don't like spice, I would not suggest getting this because without any cayenne or any other spicy spices, it is, my mouth is on fire. Now it is time for me and this sweet little man to go probably watch Desperate Housewives. Maybe read a book. I have said this before, but I just wanted to say it again because I just thought of it. I'm mostly vegan, just once a week I have fish. I haven't had any meat, like chicken, pork, any of that for almost two years now. I would never try to convert anyone or tell anyone, you know, how to eat i just think that's ridiculous i just wanted to share my body's response to not having meat i really do feel like i have more energy when dean and i first started dating that's when i realized meat was not agreeing with me very suddenly and there are days when i like miss a chick-fil-a sandwich but i just don't really miss meat because it's been so long also it's just you kind of are forced to be healthier because when you're at restaurants, you're much more limited. And I think that helped me just develop a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, I love it. I love eating vegan. I love vegan cheeses. I love vegan meat. I love all the vegetables that I'm now consuming. I've fallen in love with beans. Just wanted to share that quick little thing. did my skincare routine, put a little bit of makeup on, and now I'm ready for breakfast. I'm going to be making Revive Superfoods Grass is Greener smoothie. I keep forgetting to pause my account, so I kind of have a lot of these right now, and I've been trying to make as many smoothies as I can. I love these. This one has orange, pineapple, kale, spinach, cucumber, avocado, ginger, pea protein, and wheatgrass. And I'm going to fill this up with milk and then add a banana as well. So many plans for today and now it is pouring down rain. It was sunny most of the morning and then now it's pouring. So instead of running errands and doing the things I had planned, I'm going to do this laundry behind me and just clean the house. Have a very chill, rainy day. For a snack, I'm gonna slice up some tomatoes and just put salt and pepper on them. If you're not a tomato person, you're gonna think that this is disgusting. If you are, maybe this will be a snack that you'll like. But I love this. Ever since I was a kid, one of my favorite meals when I was a kid was macaroni noodles. Just plain noodles with canned tomatoes. This again, sounds so gross. So just be macaroni and tomatoes. I would always ask my mom. All I want is macaroni and tomatoes with a bunch of salt and pepper. And that was my go-to when I was a kid. So I've always loved tomatoes. I think the theme of my meals is always quick and easy. I think that's why I've never really gotten into baking because it takes so much time. One day I would love to like make my own bread, really get into baking, maybe in the new house. That's what I keep telling myself. When we have this nice big kitchen. feeling pretty lazy tonight so for dinner just a daya cheese pizza and my avocados are bad so no fresh veggies on top this time i was editing the vlog and just got these in the mail 
most beautiful packaging. The little smoothie cubes, they look like ice cube trays. So I'm going to make one as I edit. this week's video thank you so much for watching i am about to start packing for colorado because there's a huge snowstorm about to hit so i had to push my trip up a little bit and i'm leaving tomorrow now so i also had to cut this video short i wanted to do what i eat in a week but because i'm leaving sooner i had to cut it a little bit short and it's only three days worth of meals but i hope you enjoyed it i had fun with it it was a good way to encourage me to cook more and postmates a little bit less next week will be a fun vlog with dean Hopefully I can do the Dean Takes Over. I've got to go pack and figure out how to pack this. So I got this for Dean's 30th birthday. I've been planning it for months now. And I've been trying to find the DJI FPV goggles. They've been sold out everywhere. And they've been having issues with restocking. And while I was researching that, I stumbled upon a drone spoiler page. And I found out that this was going to be released. So I set in my calendar to wake up at 5 a.m. on the date it was released, just in case it sold out, and it didn't. And I got this, and then the day it came, Dean sent me a photo saying he was going to get it from Best Buy. So I had to spoil his birthday present, so I got to show him over FaceTime, and it was, it was fun. So I'm gonna bring this to Colorado so he can play around with it a little bit. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna pack it. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get your Thrive Market membership started, and when you sign up today, you will get 25% off, plus a free gift. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next week.